Hello, welcome to Mastering Statistics. Here we're going to do another hypothesis test where we have a small sample size that's less than 30 uh, samples as we've been doing in the past. And we are finally get, getting into the point where we're able to work problem after problem. And so as you see this problem and the several problems, because I do have several after this, I want you to just do your best to try to get comfortable for how the problem is structured and what we're basically doing. And all of them follow the same recipe once you understand that. The information that you pull out of the problem is you need to find what the null hypothesis and the alternate or the research hypothesis is. That's the most important thing. But then there's always going to be other data, some survey data, some sample data that we're going to end up using to calculate that test statistic. And we want to find out, is that test statistic greater or less than the hurdle that we have to jump over, which is basically governed by the level of significance or the level of confidence, same thing. So there's several pieces of information you pull from every one of these problems. And once you understand and get, a, get a, some experience with what you're looking for, then all of these problems really become very, very similar. Also, I'm going to, we're going to solve this, and then I'm going to spend a fair amount of time pointing out some things um, to teach you a little bit extra that, so we can squeeze as much learning as we can from this problem. As we go into the following problems, we'll be able to do them a little bit faster once we get some of this basic learning done. All right, so the first problem says a grocery store assumes that the average shopper spends no more than $100 in the store. The new store manager believes that they spend more than this. He chooses 27 shoppers randomly and they spend an average of $104.93 with a standard deviation of $9.07. Assume that the distribution of spending of the population of customers in the store is normal. That's an assumption you can almost always make, especially for these kind of problems in a class like this. Test the manager's claim at the .05 level of significance. So you see there's a lot of numbers in here and we're going to write them all down and you need to write them all down. But even before we do any of that, let's see what we can kind of kind of understand just from reading the problem a second time. So, a grocery store manager assumes that the customers in the store spend no more than $100. But this new manager comes along and says, no, 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 I think they're actually on average spending more than $100. So that's going to end up being the, the research hypothesis or the alternate hypothesis. So he wants to test this. And we're testing at a .05 level of significance, which is alpha. And since you know that C is 1 minus alpha, 1 minus 0.05 would be 0.95. So this 0.05 level of significance corresponds to 0.95 level of confidence or 95% level of confidence. So a fairly high and fairly common level of confidence that you do these sorts of tests at, 95, 97, 98, things like that. Those are the level of confidence